Hey guys! So today I am going to show you how I will organize the storage under the sink because we mo just moved in so basically I can start afresh. So yeah, so as you can see the bottom, I mean the cabinet here, it's, it's quite a big cabinet actually and I like that it's not as um, tiny like my previous house had. So yeah, for today, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to organize it. I actually didn't bought a lot of stuff. Um, some of the stuff I already have. I have a new addition to my um, organization or under the sink organization, but I am going to show you that in a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to try to put stuff right on the front. This one, I don't know if I'm going to be needing it. My husband bought it, but might as well keep it. So I'm just going to put it way at the back way. Just like that. As you can see, it's right there. It's going to be okay back over here. There's stuff inside already. So I'm just going to put it, as you can see, it sits perfectly underneath the garbage disposal. And I'm going to kind of push it here a little bit. Just like that. And now I move on this side. I'm going to try to put stuff under there. And I have a basket here from the dollar store. I got this like a few months ago. Um, yeah. So I have some floral foam here and leather lotion. This is for my husband when he's cleaning all his leather goods. He used these. I'm just going to put this under the sink. So there is this pipe right here. I don't know if you see it. Okay, so there is a pipe right here, but basically you can put it like that. So what I'm going to do is kind of put it under there so it fits perfectly. So if I need to put something else at the back, I still have room to grow. And then I have this barbecue brush. So yeah, this is important. So I'm just going to put it at the back so it's out of the way. What the hell? Over here. So there you go. See? It's right over there. So this is where I put my garbage bags. As you can see, I just put it in there. I can open it and grab one. Um, you can also do this. Use this method if you save your grocery bags. You can also do that and place it. Actually, I bought this for cereal but because it doesn't have like a rubber it doesn't seal right so the the cereal will go stale really quickly so i decided uh, not to use that for cereal and i just used it for um, plastic bags a storage so when you need it just open it and grab okay, so i'm going to place it right there so i got a trash can that is actually narrow so it will fit because sometimes as you can see, i can fit it like that so it's going to be like next is um, my dishwashing detergent so I put it in here as well because for, for the same reason it's so much easier to grab and I like that it is narrow and it will fit right here as you can see right here and I have coupons in there and I also have like the sample from, you know, one of those sample, uh, what is that, like a rinse aid. So I have that so I can see it because if I put it somewhere, I'll forget about it. I have a coupon right there. So when I run out, I can use the coupon and I will remember to use it. I also have uh, two rubber gloves. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually going to hang it right here. Just like that. And then put it back right there. I have a basket here full of supply that I like to use in my kitchen. So I have this for the granite. I also have I have this one. I have I have two. This one is almost empty. So that's why I have an extra. So this is what I use for my sink. And I use this to clean the um, the fridge and I have soap here and I like this one oil soap um, this is what I use to clean the cabinet doors yeah that's what I use and I also have a grout cleaner 
So I haven't used this, but I will one of these days. I also have this duster, and I just put it in this bag, I mean in this basket. So they're all in one basket like this from the dollar store. I'm just going to place it right on top, just like that. Addition, this is the only one that I purchased recently, actually last week. I found this plastic um, dish, dra dish rack. So you place it in the sink so it saves you space. So I'm just going to place it. Let's see if I can place it like this. There you go. And look, I'm going to add a liner. So I'm just simply going to lift this up, grab a bag, close the lid. And put a new one in the trash. So, so easy. To me, this is pretty. This is the system works really good for me. I don't need much. I just close it. And then when I close this one, I have a towel. Um, towel holder right there. So I'm going to place this in here. It's my dish. My dishes can dry. See, as you can see, it fits perfectly. It's not gonna go anywhere. And I have a a nice brush holder right there. That's just like a uh, attached using a suction thingy here. So that's where I keep my brush. see um, the dishes can dry here in the sink without taking up the space on the counter and this is the um, thingy that I got it's in rose gold too bad they didn't have a silver one but that still work so it doesn't really bother me so it's so much easier I just put the brush there and it's nice and out of the way and the only thing I keep here on my countertop is this um, dish soap holder and the rest are under the sink. So let me give you another look because like I did that earlier, right? So this is what it looks like. And I put a, a rug there that matches my shirt today. I just love stripes. So that's what it looks like. And by the way, you guys, I... My house smells so good right now because I just got this one. This is what I'm um, burning right now. It's by Sensationals Boardwalk. So yeah, this is my favorite. It smells so good. I might get more of these when I go back to the store. So yeah, I think you can find this in the big box store that it starts with W. So that's where I keep all my smelly stuff. And I showed you what's in here. Um, I actually don't like this brush. Um, it's okay, it's cute, but I don't like it because the bottom is like kind of, I mean, the center is taller than the rest, so it's really hard to brush, um, brush something. But I still use it sometimes. So that's that, and batteries are up here. So yeah, so that's what. And my under the sink look like and I hope this is helpful to you and motivates you to organize that under the sink storage you guys you don't have to spend a lot of money a lot of this stuff 
I already own except for the baskets from the dollar store. I just recently got those like a few, what, a few months ago, maybe two months ago. Yeah, so I really like what this look and yeah, I don't have a lot of cleaning supplies because I don't stock them up. I usually, usually buy them when I run out. I don't like multiples except for the sink cleaner because the other one is almost out and I still don't want to toss it because it's there's still something in it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this simple organizational video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And if you like to see more organizational video just like I did today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you are new to my channel, if you by chance just got here because of the organizational video, I also make sewing tutorials. So my name is Aldo and I sew. That's why I sew Aldo. But of course, I also like to, I also like to organize and tidy up my house. So occasionally I will add cleaning videos and organizational videos. On my channel but focus more on sewing but if I feel like I have extra time to film organizational video I I like to do it just like I did today because I just feel like organizing and I just feel like filming because I've been blogging and you guys love my blog style video I'm really surprised because I thought my life is a little boring and yeah cuz I'm like home buddy and but you guys like my blog um you know but i don't know you you think i should continue blogging you know like the blog style or just con or just stay with my sewing video so let me know in the comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're at it be sure to hit that notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. Yeah, thank you so much again and I will see you soon. Bye!